With this amazing color transition effect, you'll definitely grab everyone's attention. Sit back and enjoy this tutorial. I will create a duplicate of our video from which I will cut out the object I'm interested in using mRoto AI. I can find mRoto AI and M extension. In this case, I select the car. After tracking, I change the output parameter to masked video, so I only see the tracked object without the marked masked area. Using the built-in hue saturation curves tool, I change the green color of the body to pink. After changing the color of the car, I add the built-in custom generator from the solids category and then duplicate it. We want one of them to be white and the other black. We will use them to create a Luma mask. I animate the white solid using the cropped parameter so it appears from right to left in a wipe style. I fine tune the timing of the animation, then place the solid into a compound clip, and next, put it together with the black solid into another compound clip. Then I open it to work on the mask effects. I apply underwater, water pane, and fisheye effects to the white element, and then exit the compound clip. At this stage, I encourage you to improvise to create a unique mask animation. The most important thing is that the first frame of the animation is black, and the last one is white. I also recommend using effects, not titles to animate the mask, because of an issue with the image mask filter displaying a compound clip that contains a title. Now I apply the previously mentioned image mask to the duplicate video with the cutout car and set our compound clip with the mask as the source clip. I change the source channel option to luminance and turn off the visibility of the mask layer using the V key. As you can see, the mask animation is a bit lacking in detail, so I go into the mask group and reduce the scale parameter on the underwater effect. I will also add a subtle blur to the mask so the result doesn't look too cartoonish. I'll use the Gaussian blur filter for this. I think the result of these small changes turned out very well. The next step is to duplicate the layer with the car color change and apply a few additional effects to make this transition even more unique. We go into M extension and search for the radiant riff and techno glow effects. I used an additional layer because I want to manually animate the opacity of this layer so that the extra effects can disappear right after the color change pops. If I didn't do it this way and instead animated a single group with both the effects and the color change, I would turn off the color change as well. I smooth out the opacity animation. I right click the layer with the animation, choose show video animation, then click in the space between the visible keyframes. When a line appears, I right click it and choose ease to smooth it out. Finally, in M extension, I search for M adjustment layer and drag it above all the elements on the timeline. I trim it so it lasts about as long as the car color change animation. Then go back to M extension. This time, I search for motion blur AI and drag it onto the adjustment layer I added earlier. And that's it. If you like this tutorial and want more content like this, leave a comment and give it a thumbs up.